The Bank of England base rate has just been announced and there has been no change. Welcome to the bottom of the market. Welcome to the property market crash. In this video, I'm going to share with you what is actually happening really right now, what the concerns are that property investors have and people out there have. Also, I'm going to share with you where we really are in the property market and what you can actually do and take advantage of the opportunities that you have as an investor starting in property and scaling in property. <laughs> If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Cam Devady. I'm the founder of Premier Property, and I had to do this video for you. Uh, right now, I'm on the way to one of my uh, gold mine areas in property. Uh, we've got a number of projects going on right now, just over a dozen projects, which are bike and HMOs in this particular area in the northeast of England. But I like what I say, I had to do this video. So here I am, sitting in a field, in my car, doing this video. Because right now, the Bank of England rate has just been announced. So what are the concerns out there? Of course, we are all aware of the cost of living crisis that is happening. Inflation is still high. And on top of all of this, interest rates have gone up. So where are we in the real property market cycle? What can you actually be doing? Well, there are many advantages that you can be taking of uh, when it comes to property right now. I'm gonna discuss some of these, but let me first of all share with you where we are from my point of view in the real property market cycle. Now, you may, may have watched some of my videos before, maybe you've seen some of my predictions, and you'll notice that everything I've shared so far has actually come true because the predictions I make don't just come from pie in the sky ideas. They come from real experience over the last 30 years investing in property. And as you're probably aware, I've trained over 200,000 people so far over the last decade. And we are active in property right now in many different types of property strategies, although we're very focused. And this is where all this information comes from, from facts. So in the real property market cycle, there are three indicators which will allow you to understand that we are reaching towards the bottom of the market. And these three indicators are the triple R indicators as we call them at Premier Property. So one of these indicators is the rate of inflation. So the rate of inflation starts to increase and it's usually in double digits. Now in parallel to this, and it needs to be in parallel to this, what you'll also find, the frequency of the rate of interest rather than the figure of interest also starts to increase. Now you'll be aware when you check this that, you know, we've had 14 increases in the interest rate, haven't we, very quickly in succession. So that's 14 times of frequencies. That's a pretty high frequency, isn't it? So you've got the rate of interest going up. You've got also the rate of inflation that's been in double digits just recently. Now, on top of this, you also have the rentals increasing in buy-to-let hotspots. So all the places that you're familiar with, if you're not familiar with these places, this is public knowledge. You can go online and by the way, if you're like me, you can just check it and see what the hotspots are. You can find that in those areas, the rentals are in double digits right now. Now, that is the three triple R indicator at Premier Property. Now, when all of those three are working in parallel, you know that you're heading towards the bottom of the market. But then what happens is something that you're not expecting. And that is those three R, triple R indicators at Premier, they break down and there's a trigger point. And the trigger point is when those three indicators are no longer in parallel. So the rate of inflation changes, it starts to drop or the rental might uh, stop increasing or and the rate of interest may stop actually increasing as well. Now, whenever you find that those three triple R indicators are no longer in parallel, you know that the trigger point has happened when you are at the first stage of the bottom of the market. So my friends, welcome to the bottom of the market. Now, you might see, it might seem like I'm getting pretty excited about this. Why the heck am I doing that? You know why? Because there is serious opportunity. And please make note of this and watch this video back. You, right now, have the opportunity as a property investor to start in this business or scale in this business that you're not gonna get for over the next 20 years. There you are, I've said it, record it, watch it back. And I really hope that you've done something about it because we are in the bottom of the market. Now let's discuss the bottom of the market. The bottom of the market is not a single day, by the way, like many people think. Uh, if you're like me, you understand that there are actually three phases to the bottom of the market. By the way, like what I say, no economists are gonna share this. This is real practical information. So there are three phases of the bottom of the market and it's not a date, it's not a specific day. It's a period. And that period, like I, like I say, it's in three phases. The first phase 
is the contraction phase, which will last around 12 to 18 months. No one can say for sure, but it's around that period of around a year. Now, from real property markets, in investment areas, you'll find that that market drops by five to 15% and that's it. Although you're gonna be hearing in the media, drops of 30, 40, 45%. Why? Because unfortunately, people are doing normal things, aren't they? They're doing normal stuff, but they're not actually upskilling and learning how to do this stuff properly. So you will be hearing that in the, in the market, you'll be hearing that in the media. However, the truth is that the real property market, where you know, you're know you professionalizing, and this is the key, the key is about professionalizing. It doesn't matter if you're brand new or whether you're experienced, if you continue to professionalize, you will realize that there is only gonna be a drop between five to 15% in the property market. Market. doesn't matter how many cars there are in the field just saying well five to fifteen percent that's where we are so if you can hedge the market by five to fifteen percent if you can start creating the relationships with estate agents like us right now that exactly what we're doing exactly what I'm doing today and if you can nurture those relationships you will find that you will be finding these bottom draw deals that people out there are wishing for and you are now able to get these this is the time now to create these relationships where you can get these bottom draw deals and I say it again this is the time that you're not gonna get for the next 20 years all of us you know either you take advantage of it or you miss out so right now is phase one phase one uh, like what I say will be around 12 to 18 months very exciting times now the next phase will be the stagnation phase and that again will be around 12 to 18 months you know depending on what the policies are of the government depending on how the economy plays out now in that phase what you will find is that the heat is off the market it is now already a buyer's market and what you're going to be finding coming up over the next 6 to 12 months is it becomes even more a buyer's market because like what I say, the heat is off the market you will find the normal people, I don't want to call them amateurs, people that were just having a go, randomly doing stuff, they will be out of the market. People like you stay because you're upskilling and learning all of this stuff. And that's not it. Then we've got a third phase or the bottom of the market. And the third phase is the expansion phase. That expansion phase will also come up where it's a further 12 months. At that point, you and I, we are all gonna be finding that the interest rates um, can be whatever. They may go up, they may go down. I'll give you my view on that in another video. So in that expansion phase, typically you will see the price, percentage price change across the UK in real investment areas, specific postcodes starting to go up in single digits and you know that you're back in that expansion phase of the third phase of the bottom of the market. So excuse my enthusiasm by the way, right now you are in it, you are in the first phase of the bottom of the market. But remember when I started over almost 30 years ago, uh, maybe you can remember this, maybe you can't, you know, their interest rates were 17% when it came to um, borrowing money from uh, lenders. Right now, the interest rates that we have are extremely workable. And I remember having a conversation with um, Lord Mervyn King and he said to me, Cam, one of the reasons that we have these fluctuations in the economy is because the younger generation forget what the older generation have learned and gained in experience. And I thought, that is so true. Because let's be honest, the process happens exactly in the same way. The market moves in exactly the same way. However, the reasons are always completely different. I mean, come on, you know, recently, who would have thought, who would have thought that the Birmingham Council, the council, the, one of the biggest renting councils in Europe would go bust? And it's a fact, isn't it? However, the process is exactly the same. So right now, there are some serious opportunities. Buy to lets, HMOs, jumping into planning strategies in key areas, in large towns and satellite towns. It is now a buyer's market. And some of you are gonna miss this, some of you are gonna do something about it. I really hope you do. So keep tuned, I'm gonna be sharing videos like this constantly. I really wanted to get this information across to you. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed to the channel, well, feel free to do this right now. I'll keep sharing with you exactly what we are doing as active investors so that you can take influence from this and do what you feel is best for you and your loved ones. Now, if you would like to start or scale your property business, over the next 12 months, even though there's all these uh, massive challenges going on out there, while you can take advantage as a professional investor, well then I would like you to join us for free on our Making Money From Property 4-part workshop. Simply click on the link below and you can join us right now so that you can take advantage of the opportunities that are in front of you right now.